Live long and prosper. Hey everybody, JT here, Serenity Farms prepping. I'm not sure Spock had it 100% correct. He may have for the Vulcan race, but not for humans. So there's a lot of channels out there that are alternative media, which is what we listen to, that are telling us to prepare food, water, supplies, tools, ammo, gold, silver, seeds, for a post-collapse survival. Now, none of us can be sure what exactly is going to go down, except I think with 100% certainty, we are going to have a dollar collapse and the United States is going to go into a severe, severe depression. Those numbers simply cannot be denied. No one is buying U.S. debt. And the illegal Fed is currently printing more useless money to buy their own debt to keep the Ponzi scheme illusion alive. We all know how this ends. All through history, there has never, did I say never, been a country that was printing a trillion dollars every hundred days that did not collapse. And the collapse was apocalyptic. We are on that path. Combine 100 plus nations dumping the U.S. dollar and joining BRICS with the political deep state uniparty scum in this country not caring about printing magical, mystical, monopoly money to buy off, pay off, pad their pockets, whatever. No country will buy our debt. They understand where our dollar is going and they don't want any part of it. Matter of fact, they are doing everything they can to dump our useless dollars and they are buying all the precious metals, gold, silver, palladium, platinum, aluminum, that they can to divest from the country. Those countries that do hold our debt with China and Japan being two of the largest are also in financial trouble. They want their money. What happens when they don't get it because the U.S. does not have any? So, we know the financial collapse is inevitable. Anyone with half a brain can see it. That doesn't mean they're acting on it. So when this collapse happens, either right before or right after, we could very likely be invaded 
We're already being invaded. The UN has strategically located all the illegal invading military aged men all across the United States. This is in concert with the WEF, the WHO, the Deep State, the Democrats, and the Rhino Uniparty political scum. We are being set up for a takeover. Now, will that takeover be peaceful? I'd like to think not. I'd like to think it doesn't happen at all, but I'd like to think that Americans won't go down without a fight. I have yet to see a lot of evidence to give me any faith on that. So, there's going to be two kinds of people left very soon. Some of us have invested in some precious metals and all the other tangible preps. Food, water, ammo, supplies, seeds. But what kind of life will we be surviving to? All these alternative channels that plug and push daily, getting prepped to survive and start again, always leave out the invasion, nuclear attack, civil war aspect when talking about surviving and thriving. That's not a coincidence that they leave that out. Question is, do they understand that in the event of nuclear attacks, invasions, depression, millions and millions dying any time from the thing, what are we surviving to or for? Those of us who didn't do the deed... And don't vaporize in a potential nuclear attack or get killed fighting off illegal invaders are still going to be living in an occupied nation. Where you live, how far you are from cesspool, shithole cities, little towns, places of extreme interest and strategic locations for whoever takes over you might have a chance to live a few years if they're not worried about finding and exterminating survivors so I guess the point of this is what are we really going to be surviving for and Some people would say nothing. And while it may sound like that's what I just said myself, I have an insatiable will to live. It is being driven by the fact I don't want to die, but revenge. I'm not going to lie. I want a chance for payback. Do I know who this payback will be against? Not directly. I work on that every day. Do I have a set Number where I say, okay, I've got my quota. Whatever happens, happens. No. But I want revenge. Someone needs to pay for everything that's been done to this country 
and the people. I would think by now that the masses who did the deed that are seeing and hearing all evidence and proof that we tried to warn them about five years ago, you would think they would be out of their freaking minds creating havoc and wanting to make sure these people pay for what they did to them or they did to themselves. Yes, I don't understand how they swallowed all the obvious lies and stupidity that was put out there. But they can't get that back now, can they? All the folks that have had their DNA altered, well, that's pretty much... You can't fix that. Some of the uh, some of those little sticky protein things, I guess those can be taken care of. But if your DNA's been altered, I, I don't know what to tell you. But why aren't these people marching in the streets, carrying burning torches, pitchforks, and whatever? Why? Are they still in denial? Is that the only way that they can mentally make it through each day? If they admit what they did to themselves or worse to their children, they're gonna blow their own heads off? That's gonna happen anyway. A lot of them are just gonna take the easy way out when they realize what's happened when they have symptoms that are really kicking in. But I don't understand why the people of this country are sitting back when it is blatantly obvious that there is one single uniparty structure, maybe a handful of patriots on a Republican side. But not enough to effect change. And there will be none if Trump is reinstalled by the less evil deep state. Nothing that's happening can be avoided. I know he likes to say, I'll stop the war in 24 hours and I'll stop this and I'll do this and I'll do this. Bullshit. Talking points. He's controlled by the Zionists just as much as every other politician. It ain't part of the plan, or if you believe like I do, it's all part of the plan. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not gonna say why bother prepping if it's gonna be as bad as JT says it is. I don't know how bad it's gonna be. I prepare for the worst case scenario, like we all should be. And then anything less will seem easier. Yeah. I like to think that me surviving will be able to make a difference for my children and my grandchildren. I don't know that that's true, but it has to keep me going. And it should be keeping you going. I'm 62 in a month. I've lived a good life. I'd like to keep that going and make it a better one for them. What about you? Jake T. Signing